Yo, I don't even know if you can see me, but what's up guys? Angel here, and today I'm going to a concert that uh, Don and Mason, Mason Media, as you know, uh, told me about, and it's kind of free. I don't know where the f I'm going, but I'll figure out. sent to me just recently by a friend and it said that this generation is the most exhausted and tired generation ever which to be honest makes no sense because last time I checked we aren't the generation that has to go and 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 like work out in the crops and like cook our own like you know kill our own food we just kind of have it all made for us not to mention that there has never been higher expectations placed on young people even at the youngest age I'll talk to you for a few minutes about a god who interacts with desperate people about a god who sits across the table of those that are stressed worried living in fear think they're doing wrong ashamed bad that's the god who relates with i'll prove it to you in luke chapter 15. jesus is getting scolded which is kind of a, a strange setting. Jesus is getting yelled at by the religious leaders of the day. They're upset with Jesus. Why are they upset with Jesus? Because Jesus keeps getting caught in cafes, in restaurants, in bars, associating with bad people, with sinful people. Jesus responds with three stories. These stories could change your life if you catch the truth of them. I'm telling you that you will leave here differently if you hear the truth of these stories. He wants you to leave here living for something else because so many of us are living for the affirmation of others and it's exhausting. First story in Luke chapter 15, Jesus tells about a shepherd who goes out, he's got 100 sheep, and he goes to count them at the end of the day, 98, 99, Where's a hundred? Hundred, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? He can't find his last sheep. But the Bible tells us that Jesus tells the story of a shepherd who counts his sheep, he gets to 99, he's missing one. And then he does the most audacious thing. He takes the 99 sheep, he puts them in the pen and he goes out and he searches for the one sheep. He searches high and low, he finds them finally. And the Bible tells us that the shepherd was overjoyed, put him on his back and brings him back to the flock. Now this story sounds good. It's like, oh, cool. But it doesn't make any sense. Right? That's bad business to leave 99 sheep to go look for one. The love of God over your life. This will change your life. Is it? It's not, it's illogical. It doesn't line up with human logic. Human logic says I will love you if you perform for me, if you do what I want, if you make me feel good, if you inspire feelings in me that are good, you can be my friend, I, we, we were, we're good, until you break that. And then, he then tells a second story, a story about a woman that's got a coin collection. She counts him up at the end of the day, she looks to polish him, takes him out of, out of her, her case, and she's polishing up her silver coins, she counts him much easier than counting 99 sheep, I would say, and she's got one, missing at this point she goes into a panic begins to tear apart the house he looked until she located that coin but her ava she's here tonight so i gotta be careful telling this story but she has a, a bunny that she has she got i don't even know who gave it to her but they had a spaceship og movie my kids are awesome right and it was funny i remember one time we went to target or we went, we did errands the whole entire day. We ended up at Target, we went home, we got back in the driveway, and we took Ava out of the car, and then we looked, and, I, and, and we're like, where's my bunny? Where's my bunny? And we're like, oh, it's, it's, it's there. And then we sent her inside, and we looked through the whole car, and the bunny wasn't in the car. And I started freaking, like, what is that? 
Where's Bunny? You're like, Bunny, we're Bunny, where's Bunny? And, and Bridget, she's just standing in the driveway like this, locating her mom radar, Bunny radar. And she's like, just like, parking garage and Target. Like, like, parking garage and Target. I'm like, what? She's like, parking garage and Target. So it's a, it's a, it fell out at the parking garage at Target. I'm like, Bridge, we live in Ringwood. I'm not going back to Target. She's like, just go! Parking garage at Target. So I got back in my car. I had to drive to Target. I'm like, there's no way this bunny's there. I go to the parking garage at Target, and there is the white bunny. Clap it up for that. <laughs> and here's the worst part. Show the next picture. Okay, now my son has a bunny. Okay? <laughs> And we see in this story that God, the value that the Lord places upon your life is infinite. You have to understand the value that the Lord puts upon your life. It will change everything. When you realize the value that God places upon your life, that he would search and search. And not only that, a purpose. You have infinite value in God's eyes. That word infinite means can't be measured. The story continues that the woman begins to, to sweep, sweep. Right now, if you're honest in here, you don't even want God to search for you. Like if we're honest, if we're really honest, like God, I'm like in this stage of my life where I don't want to be searched for. Like you keep showing up though. You feel lost, you feel like no one can find you, you feel in a dark place, you say, where is God? And God is saying, I'm searching, I'm searching, I'm calling out, I'm calling out, I'm calling out. She finds the coin, she locates this coin, and then she does something crazy. She has a party, she invites all her guests, all her neighbors. The cost of the party was probably more than the coin was worth. The last story that God shares is the story of the prodigal son. A young man went to his father and said, listen, dad, I'm ready to go out on my own. And to be honest, I want my inheritance now. Can I tell you something right now, young people? Do not go to your parents while they're still alive and ask for your inheritance. Really, it just won't end well, okay? I want to live, so I'm done with my family. I'm done with you. Give me my inheritance. You won't see me again. And the father gives him his inheritance, and he runs off. And the Bible tells us that he squanders it on wild living, crazy living. If there was a movie, it would be rated R. He goes nuts. He's having the time of his life. This is the fun. He's got friends. He's got value in the eyes of the world. But then the money runs out. And I'm telling you this, listen to me in here. If you build your value in your life on those around you, watch as your life is like this. Watch as you get on the roller coaster of life and you can't seem to get over the hump and walk into some kind of consistent, loving relationship. The story continues that this young man is broke. He's got nothing left. He squandered everything. At that moment, he says, it's better for me to go home and work as a servant for my dad than to die here starving. Desperation. The Bible says that the young man shows up on his property, and at this point, he's running through his head. How is God, how is, how is my father going to respond? His father looks out the window, and you would think the rest of the story would go that the indignant father said, yes, you can come in, but you're gonna work your way back. The coolest lines in the Bible, it says, while he was still far off, the father locates this young man coming towards him, says, that's my son. The Bible says that he goes into a mad dash, the father sprinting towards his son. Before this young man could even fumble the words, I'm sorry, he is locked into the embrace of a father. It's relentless, it's unstoppable, it won't stop. Whether you make a decision right now to follow God, it won't stop because God's love does not make sense. But I can't talk about it enough because it's not big enough to fit into a room. There's not enough words I can string together to explain to you the value that you have in Christ. So Jesus, why do you hang out with bad people? Because bad people need me. Jesus, why do you hang out with notorious sinners? Because who else is going to hang out with notorious sinners and offer them a life transformation? Jesus, why do you identify with those people? And God says, because I want to save them. And he wants to save you right now. Your life, you are different now. You are different now. The Bible talks about that when we enter into faith, we are now a new creation, which means our old way of thinking has changed. God gives us a new way of thinking. You are a new creation. When you wake up, 
What the devil's going to tell you is, that was just a feeling, that was an emotional response. I'm not new, I don't feel any different. That's where the Holy Spirit comes, and he says, you are different. You're mine. You belong to me now. You belong to me now. I got things for you to do. I got places for you to go. I have purpose for you. You are changed. You have value. The Holy Spirit changes the way you live. So tomorrow, all you have to do is say, Holy Spirit, I'm ready to serve you. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what's up? What's up? What I'm do you call you people? The uh, I'm gonna call you guys Maestro Squad because they're all probably my subscribers yeah, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm kidding, dude. I'm kidding. Joke. Oh, oh, fuck it. <laughs> no, no, that is not allowed. Why isn't it? Did you see his story? I'm gonna let it uppercut you. He made a yeah. You just Wanna watch my story? Instagram story later. So you think he's a? Uh, how, how, how would you rate? Um, how would you rate the camera work on? Um, I, I remain in plague doctor. Oh zero. Called it. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. No, I'll give it a six. Dude, it's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. I'll, I'll get him. Get him. How many? I beat him. <laughs> this was Dom in high school. <laughs> this is Dom. He was barely in high school. Uh, you know, yeah. I was homeschooled. Why did, he, why did he expose you? I don't know. D everyone. Like to be here? <laughs> Knock him off the camera. Oh, you're trying to hit me? No! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh yeah! Oh, he does when he films. <laughs> it's like he's having a forever seizure. I swear to you. Want me to tell him why you're I mean, apparently he has Parkinson's. Because literally we said Fortnite and all of a sudden freaking Bones was like foreskin and all of a sudden that's, it just happened. It sucks. I think there's more behind the story. There's literally the nothing. It's, there's not more behind the story. I, th I think there's more behind the there story. There really isn't. You know the story. How are you going to tell me? I was there! <laughs> it sucks at filming. Uh, this is why I don't pay this dude. <laughs> Yo, listen. I said nice oh. stuff about you. Still owes me 20 bucks. Uh, no, I know how I feel. Somebody owes me 50 bucks. Hello, darkness, my old friend. We have this slut brick here. Well, what are you, what are you He's saying? called me a slubbrick in the church. I don't know what's wrong with him. And he, he, he proceeds to say, oh sh. No, no, no. All right, all right. God forgive me. Forgive God me. is condemning you to hell. Says <laughs> so the one that went there. I've been everywhere. Hell and back. 
Literally. 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 Yeah, hey, man, I don't like your angle. You're making me look smaller. Smaller than I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, what's Double up, chin guys? action. All right, here Double chin. All right. Go check out Mesa Media's channel or Dominic Mesa. I'll put it in the description. I mean, most of you guys probably his viewers, but. Hey, Yo, guys. Guys. Subscribe to Angel, all right? Yes, thank subscribe you. Subscribe to you. Underrated Creator. What is your channel? Underrated Creator? Yeah. Subscribe to Underrated Creator, guys. All right, thank you. Uh, what do you what do you say? Mesa Squad? Uh, keep it 100, Mesa Squad. All right, so I'm going to say in three, two, one. Keep, keep it 100. 100. All right, see you guys. Here we are, a million stars floating over our heads. Beating hearts, falling apart, staying up to forget. But baby, we'll fall. Um, it was difficult. Yeah. If you came from my channel, you may have seen my video. What's up? That's foreskin. Um, yeah, you may have came from my channel. Right. This is Brianna. She's my sister. Hi. Uh, how long ago did we find out we were? Um, like a couple months ago. A couple months ago, guys. Oh. A couple months ago. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. But I was so shocked. I was like, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Re replay her initial reaction. He's our half-brother. Gianna cried. The first time Gianna is always like cry. the uneasy yeah. time. Yeah. You can't fake tears. I mean, unless you're like I a mean, good actor. Alright. Right. Yeah, he is a bit tall. Yeah, see? He is a bit tall. Oh, he is I, I a bit like tall. Oh, 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 she's making excuses. <laughs> she's making excuses. Uh, uh, no excuses this time. No excuses. I know excuse. he's taller, but you know, uh, I'm getting uh, there. Uh, I'm yeah, getting he is taller. There. She's, you still got like... Seven more years to grow. Yeah. I'm gonna stay this. I don't think the growth life. spurt's coming in soon. Yeah. yeah. It's coming to me. I live in a basement, so like the ceiling in my basement comes up to here. It was literally touching my head the whole time, his basement. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I have friends that have to duck when they come over. Yeah, I hit my head on the stairs. It'd be great. Coming down the stairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. No. But like, how does it feel? Being here with everyone. Um, I want to introduce you to Dan real quick, actually. Dan? Well, to answer your question, you asked me it, but I feel like I have a better answer now. Um, it feels crazy, like to see people in these like videos. Yeah. And then like I don't know where you see them like in real life. Like that's just crazy. It must be crazy seeing like so many people from vlogs that you've been following. Like, yeah. Using that yeah. That's how it was for me, like when I met Jesse. His whole family just getting to know them. Because it looks different. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but like, when you see somebody in a video in real life, it's different. And especially the height difference. Uh, screw it. No. There you go. I'm insulted my height, so I left. Same height. We're not the same height. You're like three inches. She has years on you. You have like four months. Jonah! This is Jonah. You guys never seen Jonah before. Hey, what's up? What's up, man? Yes. I really feel like I'm Are we in vlog mode? Yeah, We're in vlog, vlog mode? Yeah. What's up, guys? This is the Daily Vlogs. We're at Bethany Church today. Um, mm -hmm. Dublin night. It's hype. Yeah. I think he should take over. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me it. Give me the job, man. Dude, I'm going to so much good Give me this. Let me just turn on. Let's turn on. There we go. Hey, guys. How are you? Yeah, Daily vlogs. This is my friend uh, oh, Brianna. Okay. It's not on. I don't know how to work this thing, but you just uh, got your vlog taken over, dude. Yeah, no, dude. It's, it's, I, I understand. Step yeah, up your game, man. Step up your game. We're gonna have a giveaway soon. Um, 
Oh, for a minute. Yeah. No, dude, dude, it's, it's angles, angles. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Right. you're right, you're right, you're right. Hold on, let me get it, let me get it. Hey, guys, it's up, it's the vlogs. So, uh, yeah. so, we got the nice new setup. We got a, uh, a Liga, Liga, Liga lens, so. I'm just uh, sure I'm observing from a third person perspective. This isn't my vlog. This this yeah. always happens to me, so it's nice to see this happen to someone else. Yeah. Remember the beach what, vlog? Yeah. Oh my gosh, the beach vlog. Beach Remember the beach vlog? The beach vlog didn't even know that I was just Yeah, dude. We didn't even know. We didn't even know. We literally walked right past each other. We didn't even know. No, I know Maestro Squad is gonna be on this vlog like crazy, so I just wanna like I don't have a chance to like make a lot of vlogs, so who would want to see a like a sister tag? Yeah. A sister, sister tag? tag? Yeah. Yeah, sister just tag. To get Wait, didn't they reach the light goal that what? you put out? Didn't they reach the light goal? It did. Yeah, so make a sister tag. They're like a uh, sibling tag. You need to get, get Gianna yeah. in on it. I don't know where Gianna is. I don't know where Gianna is. She disappeared. We're going to make it happen, guys. Yeah, we We're have to. make it happen. You should get her. You know, you know what? John is a busy woman. What? You know, the notice, my hand's steadier than yours. So, uh, Dude, I take yeah. enough <laughs> abuse from Oscar. You really gotta like. <laughs> Mine yeah. is verbally, his is physically. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we're hey, grinding. Hey guys, should, John talks should with. Rihanna make a channel? No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 So if if I came to you like privately and was like, yo, bro, rig this giveaway, I'll be there when the winner's chosen, just choose me, nobody would know. So you you want me to rig my giveaway? No, 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 but like, no, but like, don't be all high and mighty now, yeah. the camera's rolling. Like, come on. We, we all know, like, I have the You DMs, want me bro. to give you like, a I have the DMs, bro. dollars console for free. But yeah, but you just gave somebody else it for free, why couldn't it have been me, bro? Well, if we give this stuff away, can yeah, I get yeah, it too? Maybe. Uh, yeah, but nobody knows you. Now, now, I have an idea. Five hundred dollar console and a thousand dollars in cash. Ooh. What do you guys think I am, Bill Gates? Yes. <laughs> Why yes. can't you be Bill Gates? Bro? Bill Gates hey. Media. First of all, I think I'm Steven Spielberg. They let him do like four series in a like, year. Like what I'm saying is, like they would have never. Known. Make sure you follow this guy. This is one of yes. the one of the best. I mean, you, they, you guys, is out there. Follow no, him. He didn't rig the giveaway. Yeah. I'm not. Gonna, dude, I'm unfollowing your YouTube channel. That's it. I'm on something. You didn't, you didn't rig it. Wow, what's up? He and loses what's up. How sad is that? <laughs> but guys, I, I know everyone's saying subscribe to me, but we got an up and coming YouTuber. Like, true, true, true. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We got an up and coming YouTuber, guys. Subscribe to this guy. Yes. Yo, make sure you look out for this vlog coming soon. You got you got vlogs coming like this? Hopefully. Vlog, yeah, hopefully, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to grind as much as I can. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun anyway, so I'm, it's not like a chore to do it. So I'm automatically going to just put content out there, grind, and this is going to be awesome. Yeah. Come next Friday. We have youth every Friday. Yeah. Friday. It's going to be Friday. late. Every Friday. Every Friday. Every Friday. Except for next Friday. We're not doing Except for next Friday. <laughs> next That's Friday. Not, like a big series. We're not doing youth next Friday. It's really oh, wait, really? Yeah, it's really uh, uh, Okay, pause that. <laughs> Friday after that. <laughs> every Friday after that. Yeah, exactly. I guilty of what? Trying to rig a giveaway. Rigger. Rigger. Man. Not nervous. <laughs> not, not nervous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Oh, By the way, uh, thanks, man. Good luck. Good luck with that. I'm really impressed. I like the camera. Okay. 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 But continue with the vlog. Continue. <laughs> I just insulted myself. Yeah, you just literally got assaulted. First, I got slapped in the face, okay. and I insulted myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oscar, like, yeah. And you're gonna rig a giveaway? Wow, you're rigging the giveaway? Are there rumors? There's rumors though. Wow. Wow, he's rigging the giveaway. Also, follow this guy. This guy right here. Don't follow me. No. If you call me that one more time, I'm allowed to suffocate you and while you're walking. I got a comment poll for your for your blog. Brianna. Yes. And Kaden. Yo, 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 Alex, wanna be in the vlog? I'm in the vlog. Right here. Yo, stop yeah, I, so, Hello. you let us know in the comments who you think would win the fight. Me? This is what I YouTube. Wait, who's 
I killed someone, just so you guys know. You killed someone? I, 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 I forgot to tell you this. Yeah, he did kill someone. But he's wanted Ohio and Mexico. And the body is somewhere in a lost trailer. Don't tell them where the body oh, is. Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. You're not supposed not. to know yet. That's for, I gotta save that for my channel. Yeah, exactly. Exclusive. Ex on ex Underrated Creators channel. Yeah, yeah. Exclusive. <laughs> do more vlogs, dude. Yo, yeah, what, what's, what's up with the vlogs? Dude, I'm busy, I'm busy more. filming you all these events. More. No, I'm busy a... filming all these events. Too bad. I got no time to vlog and film events. I'm not, I can't do everything. Yes, you can. It's, it's I mean, all you're probably your right. Mind. You're probably yeah. right. <laughs> Don't do it again. <laughs> yeah, all the series that we had, man, we got a lot more coming. Yeah. 2020 and 21 is going to be a crazy two years. I know it seems like a long time, but exclusive. Who knows? This year? Tricks up my sleeve. Exactly. You never know. No. Yeah, you're maybe. all, you're finding this all out. should have rigged the giveaway, though. You should have rigged it. No. Oh, There's yeah. something coming out in 2019 on the Mission Media channel, but you guys won't know what it is. Just to let y'all know, you, you guys will never know. But you only heard it here on Underrated Creators channel. Exactly. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No, we're, yeah, we're all doing it. We're all family here. Right. Make sure subscribe. Like, subscribe. Yeah. Yes, please. Subscribe to Mason Media and anybody else. No, here? You should, you should make subscribe it. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. please, make, yeah, make a channel. Right. I ain't got a YouTube channel. Make up, make up. Make up. We're gonna put it, we're gonna I don't got a YouTube channel, but make sure you subscribe to these two right yes. here. We got good content coming to you right here. He makes garbage content. We gotta do the transition. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, can I do a hand? Yes. Right here. What's up everybody, Angel here, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and tell me what you thought of this video. Um, it was a little heavy on the editing side, but at the same time, it was in the middle ground, so you guys still enjoyed it without all the edits. And also, I just wanted to say that it was uh, like one of the best days of 2019 and of my life in general. Because these people were so nice, so genuine, I got to meet so many new people, and I got to hang out with friends that I already knew. And it was awesome. As you know, my friend Dom invited me um, and told me about the the BCY concert or thing that they were having. And, um, you know, I filmed at the concert, the after party, and it was a great experience. Um, this, this vlog took a while because literally this whole day I was editing it from like 5 to like 2 a.m., which is like right now. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that dedication. And also, hope you guys enjoy the fact that, um, you know, I decided to go because it was like, hey, it's not that far, and I'm so glad I decided to go. I can't wait to go again. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.